Ladies and gentlemen, get that dislike button ready because we have another tier list. If we go ahead and take a gander at the nearly 40 football video games that we have down below, yours truly is going to rank every single one of them. And I am prepared for you guys to get set off again like you did with my NFL tier list. And I am just oh so okay with that. By the way, if you haven't seen that NFL tier list yet, check it out. It is definitely one for debate. I threw myself out on the line on that one. Originally in this tier list, it went S through F. I put an NP at the bottom. That means not played. I have not played that game. There's no point in me even trying trying to rank it, and I don't want to give an unfair opinion about a game that I just never laid my hands on. Without further ado though, we're going to start it off with an absolute heater. NFL Street, for me, without a doubt, this is either A tier or S tier. For me, whenever this game came out, I was at the point where I really didn't know players, and they had a game mode where you would go back and forth drafting people. I would only just pick the people that looked the coolest, but this game was just so different, and I can honestly say it made football really fun for me. We're going to be putting them in A tier. And I have one thing to say. If you have never tried out the NFL Street series, NFL Street 1 and NFL Street 2, NFL Street 3 was a disappointment. We'll talk about that later. But if you have not had a chance to play one of those games, you have to. I'm telling you. Up next, Sega Genesis. This was way before my time. NFL Blitz Pro. There was an NFL Blitz game that I have played before, but any of this old garbage, we're going to toss that to the side. The next game that we have, Antonio Brown. But the Madden curse hit Mr. Big Chest hard, and this game this year kind of sucked, okay? And I kind of had a feeling that it was going to suck from the way beginning whenever I had a chance to play the game early. The gameplay of Madden 19 was goofy. Spin moves are way too overpowered. Nothing really new was added to this game. And for me, it was a very big disappointment. Up next, I'm sorry, I'm just not this old. And then perfectly, we have another video game that has a Pittsburgh Steeler, one of my favorite of all time. Also with Larry Fitzgerald, this was the first Madden, I believe, I hope I got this right, that had Ultimate Team. And I can promise you there will never be a football video game that I played more than Madden 10. It got to the point where it was unhealthy. I was waking up at 6 a.m. only to play the game until 11, 12 o'clock at night. And this was way back in the day, so I was pretty young when this stuff was going on. The more and more I think about it, Ultimate Team in this game was a huge reason I got into YouTube. Just everything about the first Ultimate Team that came out, the simplicity, you didn't have to throw a bunch of money into the game, there weren't any collections, it was just grinding to get the coins in games to get the cards that you wanted. This game was amazing. Up next, Madden 2005. Ray Lewis is on the cover, so I'm gonna have to just put this in like a C tier. I know I played the game a lot, but I don't remember much about it. I'm assuming they had some sort of superstar mode, so that was always a plus. I'm just gonna rank them in the C tier. I don't really remember it that much. I was really young whenever this game came out. Then again, hold on one second. This is actually gonna change things a little bit for me because we have ESPN NFL 2. 2K5. This game was an absolute classic for me. I love this, and now I do remember I really never played Madden 2005 from EA because 2K5 blew this game out of the water. For any of you guys that remember, which only might be a few of you, you had your own house in the game and you could pretty much customize anything. I remember there being a home theater where you could actually watch videos on. They had a paper football table that you could purchase. I think ping pong, darts. There were a few mini games you could actually play at your house. The customization was fantastic in this game. There was also a helmet cam that you could use that I remember using very often. This game, absolute classic. One of my favorites for sure. We have Game Day 2004. Now, these are games that I played very briefly. Again, I was very young whenever these games came out. I'm just going to rank this around the D category. Nothing against them, honestly. But what I do know is whenever these games came out, there were other games that I was a lot more big on. That's why I'm kind of ranking them in the lower tier. Vince Young was was my favorite player ever coming out of college, got drafted by Tennessee, got his jersey right away, and I was so excited to hear that he made it onto a Madden cover. Unfortunately, things didn't really work out for him. The game was okay. It was average. I'm going to put it in the C tier. We are going to put 2K8 in the E tier. The problem is whenever this game came out, I thought the Madden game was quite a bit better, so I really never played it too much. What the heck is this? I, I genuinely don't know. I'm going to put that in NP. Okay, is this just me or is this an app for the iPhone? I don't ever remember playing this on a console. Maybe I'm an idiot, uh, but the app was pretty trash as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to go off that. If there's a video game, it's not based off the video game. This is just based off the app. They would always clickbait me by making that app look super nice. And then you get into the game. You're like, what, what the heck is this? 
This is garbage. I'm deleting this immediately. There's no point of this even taking up any space on my phone. Now we have BCFX. <laughs> is this for PS1? I almost feel like at this point, I'm not meant to make this tier list. Look at all these I haven't played yet. Okay, this is the Blitz the League football game that I did play. This came out a few years after NFL Street, and I was really hoping that it would take its place. It is a completely different game. It did not take the place of NFL Street. It wasn't the worst game. I'm gonna rate it in that... Pff, it's either a C or a D. We'll go ahead and rate it at C just for its uniqueness. The cool thing was you could break people's backs and their arms and their neck, and it would zoom into the screen of their bones actually break. It was pretty unique. The story mode, I never got through the whole thing, but I thought it was pretty good. I think C is probably a pretty fair tier to rank that in. This game minced me off so bad, and it probably isn't as bad as I'm going to give it a rap for. I'm putting it at F. This was the first year that EA took team play out of Madden. I was devastated whenever they did that because team play was the thing. That's all I really remember besides that I played competitively for money. You know what? That is true. We'll, we'll rank it up to an E, but it really wasn't that great of a game though. Madden 17. This is a decent game. This is the year my YouTube channel took off. So I kind of feel like I have to rank it up here. I don't think I can put it in B tier though. Can I? Can I? No, I definitely can't. We're going to put Madden 17 in C tier. This is where draft champ Champions was a lot of fun, and that's pretty much all I remember. After that, we have Madden 18. I don't know. The game's really not that special at all to me. It's just, it is what it is. D tier, maybe that's a little bit harsh. I don't know. The sad thing though, I know a lot of you guys are younger. Playing Madden 18 was probably a lot of fun for you guys, but if you played the older ones, you would really understand why I have these ones ranked as I do. Madden 2006. I remember having a pretty good time playing this game. Donovan McNabb. Again, the superstar mode. That's pretty much strictly what I played at that time. And I remember having a really good time doing it. So we're going to rank that right there. Madden 15. This was the first year for the gauntlet. At this point, it really wasn't perfected. There wasn't that many great levels for it, but the fact that they came out with it, I'm gonna put this in the C range also. See, this is weird because this is a game that I played, but I was so young and I played it so little that I really don't remember anything about it. You know what? I'm just gonna put it in this tier. Yeah, I think that would really only be fair because my opinion would just be a complete guess. Now, Madden 2004 though, I definitely do remember the one with Michael Vick on the cover. I genuinely think this was one of the better Madden games. I was super into franchise mode whenever this game came out. This is whenever I started really going hard with that. And then, I mean, come on now. One of the most iconic Madden characters of all time. Nearly everybody's favorite, Michael Vick on the cover. This is a pretty solid game. We will save Madden 20 for the way end. Up next, I have Madden 16 here. Looking back on this game, it was pretty good. I was doing a lot of the Madden challenges, which took off. Like I said before, the gauntlet got a lot of cool levels on it. The Odell catch. We're gonna put it in B tier. What we have now, though, is my favorite Madden of all time time the ultimate team was very good but the team play is what puts this in the s tier team play was not an ultimate team you didn't have to spend money to be able to play versus other people you got to create your own team use your own name use your own logo and there was a leaderboard that they kept track of together my friends and i i am not kidding played over 700 games of team play alone and that's not including the amount of time that i put into ultimate team and franchise mode and all that madden 12 gets the s tier no doubt peyton hillis though on the cover kind of weird but hey now i'm trying to figure out what this is supposed to be i'm going to pretend that this is Madden 11 because I don't see that anywhere. Madden 11, another great game. Ultimate Team was fantastic. I put a whole lot of hours into that one. This next one is probably going to be the one that gets me all the dislikes on the video. NCAA Football 14, and please hear my reasoning for this before you go ahead and just drop dislikes and hate me so much. I'm going to put it in C tier. The game itself, whenever it came out, was okay at best, all right? The reason why everybody likes NCAA Football 14 is because it was the last college football game that came out. It's the newest version of it. That's automatically what people kind of magnetize to. Here is my argument for this game because I didn't think that the gameplay was that great at all. If NCAA Football 14 continued to make games 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, if that was the case and they continued to make these NCAA football games, this would probably be in D or E tier. But the fact that it was the last NCAA football game, it's pretty iconic. I'm going to put it in C. And before you get super angry, make sure you go ahead and play the game first, okay? Because this game was my favorite college football game. It had mini games in it. The game was awesome. We'll go ahead and put it in B tier. Not 
not quite a tier right on the cusp of it though ncaa football 2006 really didn't play this game that much we'll put it at c this other blitz football game never played it oh my days head coach is on here my expectations for this game whenever it first came out were so high i hate to break it to you but this game sucked i have yet to find a person that genuinely loved the head coach game you couldn't play the games it was a really cool concept you managed the franchise you could pick the plays i'm hoping i'm remembering this correctly but the game for me and i was younger at the time got boring so fast the game was trash now we have one of my all-time favorites i'm not gonna waste any time this easily makes it up into the s tier and it is right up there with madden 12 is not only my favorite football game of all time but one of my favorite games of all time this game absolute classic for me if there's one of these games that you haven't tried that i recommend that i think you'll like it is nfl street 2 just being able to jump off walls they had kill the man with a football moss this game pretty much had it all it had their own story mode madden 2007 it's pretty much just the c for me head coach is going to go in the f tier never played this we'll just move this aside because i already ranked it and now we have madden 20 the game that is coming out very soon from everything that i heard though with all the new additions it seems like there's going to be some superstar game mode coming some new features with x factor abilities i am getting excited about this game if you were to ask me last year on where i would have ranked madden 19 i would have been honest i would have ranked it in e or f i genuinely would have madden 20 i want to rank it at least a c i'm gonna stay very optimistic and i'm gonna put it in b which is very scary because that would rank it as one of the top madden games of all time at least for me there's supposed to be some really cool stuff coming to the game though i am very excited about it that b ranking could drop to the floor with no the first week of this game coming out but we will find out let me know what you guys think of this tier list if you think i'm wrong about one of these games put it down in the comments below and let me know why i would love to have a conversation and just hear your opinion on why you think i might have been a little bit wrong on something with that said we're gonna wrap it up there thank you so much for watching let me know if you want me to do another tier list and what it should be put it down below if we use your tier list idea i will make sure to feature your comment in the video with the shout out to the youtube channel or instagram or twitter that you want we'll wrap it up there though i'm your boy pizza you already know you're the best God bless. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.